Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. Today I have the Ayamaya six to eight person, two vestibule tent. Let's take this outside, set it up, and see what it's all about. The first thing to note about this tent is that it weighs 27 pounds. Definitely won't be hiking with this very far, but uh, with a six to eight man tent, I wouldn't expect you to hike very far with it anyway. The tent has two clips that you can undo. Pull that webbing off of there. And that's going to allow this to unroll. Okay. Here are the poles. Here are the stakes and some guy line. Not sure what this is yet. We'll get to it. This is the fly. And we'll also get to that here in just a moment. Now there is a little instruction booklet showing how to set this up. I think we're just gonna wing it and see what happens. Let's unfold everything. <laughs> it's a great size tent. I think the whole family could fit in this. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the bag of poles real quick. See what we're working with. They've got some bubble wrap on the ends for shipment. That's a nice touch to make sure these don't pop through the bag. Let's see how many poles we've got. I'm just gonna go ahead and snap them all together and lay them out. They have bungee cord inside, as you would expect with a tent. The longer straight poles are designed to go from corner to corner. So there should be a sleeve up here that this pole will ride into. Let's see if we can find it. Yep, here it is right here. I'm gonna stick this pole in here and just press it on through. Comes out the other side. I'll line it up with the other corner and hopefully we'll get this to raise up here. Each pole has these snaps that need to be put on to hold up the rest of the tent. Before I put the fly on, let's walk around the tent here with just the basic setup. So the doors are massive, which is so nice, especially if you've got kids coming in and out all day long. And the doors can be opened up 100% and then tucked into this little side storage pouch just to get them up and out of the way. So nice, check it out. Basically there's so many vents here. The door can be a vent, there's vents up here, and then the two sides are uh, openable with vents. Um, so let's go ahead and zip up one of the doors here to see what that looks like. Now I haven't put out any of the guy lines yet, so it's not quite as firm as it will be. So this door can zip all the way around. I'll probably put it right over here. There we go. So there's the door, fully zipped up. We can step inside and open up that window to see how well that's gonna work. Normally I wouldn't wear shoes in a tent, but today I'm going to. So yeah, there's a full zipper that goes the entire way around again. So you can tuck all of the screen, or the, keep the screen there, but tuck this into that corner pocket. So it will open up full again there. So the zipper on the side can be opened up. There's probably a kickstand on the fly that we're gonna want to be able to access. There's a pocket there, and then a pocket over here. There's a zipper here as well. Seems to work quite nicely. Um, and I'm sure you could also use the door hide as, as uh, a storage pouch as well if you needed to. Up top, there's a single hook so you can hang your lantern from. Nice and strong. So yeah, as far as fitting people in here, I would say you could easily put five in there, very comfortable, and the six to eight would be a little bit more cramped. But uh, let me go ahead and lay down in both directions. I'm five foot 11, so you can see how I fit in the tent. 
So first of all, I can almost stand up in here. Well, yeah, so it's about five foot 10 or so for the height. And then if I lay down in here like this, man, I've got so much room up top here. It's about two more feet on the top and the bottom. So you can see there's plenty of room there. And then if I lay this way, to be honest, I think it's the same. You've got so much room to work with there. So I guess what you could do if you had to have the eight people in here, you'd line up this way and then have one up top there. Would uh, or of course children would be taking up a lot less space, but it's very spacious in here. Now that we have the tent set up, let's go ahead and put on the fly with the two vestibules. So I'm thinking the two sides will be a lot longer than the other two, and that's going to be the front and back. <laughs> I saw that going better in my head. Okay, there's the basics. Now the two poles that are left have the bend in them, and that's gonna go in the other loops here on the front. So let me go ahead and find out if there's a sleeve inside of this. I used the vestibule on the other side as my test run. So to get this thing set up, I'm gonna open up one of the door sides. And there is a sleeve right here when you open it up and that's where your pole with the angle pieces on it are going to slide into. Right down here at the ground where the grommets are, there is a clip that the fly is going to attach into. If you pull the fly back, you can then see the Velcro tabs that are going to connect and hold that onto the pole. I'm going to close the door back up for a moment. Get a couple of the stakes out. And if I find the edge of the door, there is an elastic loop. I can just come out here, stick that into the ground on both sides. If you were in the middle of a downpour, you'd want to close this thing up as it is right here. It is totally battened down. And uh, there's still a few things I need to do, like put the rest of those Velcro straps in there, but I've got both sides staked out. And there are plenty of points where you could add the guy lines to bring this out a bit more. And so it's just kind of loose at the moment. And uh, my ground's not level, so this side over here has got a little bit of slack on it, but it's looking pretty good. I think we should uh, go inside now. Also, there are some poles that will hold up the doors whenever you have the fly on, but want to have that ventilation, so let's do that too. This tent comes with several guy lines. They look like they're about 10 foot, but we only need two of them on each side for using these poles to hold the door up. Let me lock those into place there. I'm gonna unzip both sides of the vestibule. Now, of course you can take the flap, roll it up and use these toggles up here to just hold everything up and out of the way. But if it's raining and you wanna still have lots of coverage yet ventilation, you need two stakes, two poles, two guy lines to get this open. I'm gonna just take one pole here, put it into the grommet, like that. I put a loop at the end of my guy line, and the other end is gonna go down towards a stake, and there's a plastic piece on the guy line that lets you adjust the tension. So I'm gonna adjust that up some. And there's the vestibule totally open and out. 
I was just thinking it probably will gather a lot of rain and sag this down if you are using it for uh, rain protection, but uh, for sun definitely will work nice. But anyway, so there's poles for each side and you do have to have that guy line to keep them up there. Okay, so that's that. And let's see the last features here. There are vents on the side that you can open up. Now there's a zipper inside so you can unzip from inside, but you can also do it out here because there's a double zipper. But you can just undo this like that. And then it would roll up into these tabs and so you would have that protection there. And so it's not a lot of ventilation, but should be enough to help out on those nice stuffy days. Let's take a walk inside with the fly up. So you can see the size of the vestibule over there. It's about four foot by maybe eight foot. It's a good size. And uh, it looks like your ventilation up top is kind of compromised by the fly, but I guess that's what having it on all four sides is good for. I like it, it's a nice tent. I'm gonna set you up on the tripod. I'm gonna take this down and fold it all up and uh, let you know what I think about this thing after I'm done. I feel like I worked pretty straightforward on that. Let's see what our time is here. 16 minutes, holy cow. I managed to get the tent back into the bag, but it was definitely a uh, snug fit. The bag probably could be just a little bit bigger. So it took me 16 minutes by myself to put everything back in the bag. I didn't have the second vestibule poles or all the stakes in. So you're probably looking at at least 20 minute uh, tear down to get this thing back in the bag with one person doing it. If you had two people, definitely be a whole lot faster. So the only thing I saw that I didn't like, besides the bag being just a little bit small, is the sleeve size on the vestibules. It would catch the poles as I was pushing it either through or pulling it back the other direction. And it could have been just a little bit more material to make that process easier. But the tent seems to be a pretty good design and I think will do well. I'll have to get my kids and maybe cousins and go for a little uh, overnight somewhere so we can use the full eight person size of this tent. Should be very interesting. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this little video, please hit the subscribe button and thumbs up and definitely uh, leave me a comment to let me know what you think about this tent. Be sure to check the description down below for the link to the Amazon page where you can purchase this tent or read more about it. I'm Seth with Tool Second Gear and I will see you in the next video. Bye.